Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided for the PlayStation 4. I'm my friends, welcome back. So before we do anything, let's go ahead and get scanned in. Again with the identification procedures. Great, okay. This is fun. Cool, okay. I'll enjoy my stay here. What's the worst that can happen? Anyway, because I'm playing Alien Isolation at the same time, um, I thought that was the alien draw for a minute. I'm sort of in half of both of the worlds at the moment, because I'm playing both of them back to back. So, like, <laughs> I'll be walking around, all of a sudden I'll see something like that and think, oh, that's an air vent, I should go around that. No, it's just it's just water effects. <laughs> anyway, the, way, uh, the reason I'm going this way is because there is actually a trophy here that I've already got, but I'm going to show you guys how to access this because it can take you a little while to find it. But this is the Penguin Prince. And there is a trophy for picking this guy up and carrying him with you for the pretty much the entire mission and then returning him back to his colony, which is a series of other penguins. I don't know why the heck that is in this game, but all I know is that is funny as fuck, in my opinion. Uh, let's see, just going around and picking up a ton of loot because there's so much stuff that you can pick up here in Gollum City as well. Maybe Gollum's on the top of that volcano still, who knows. But anyway, yeah, I thought I'd just go ahead and show that off. I need to make sure that at some point I reactivate my, um... Oh, what is it called, the Icarus Landing System augmentation? Because if I fall off here, I probably could die. And that is one of the best augmentations to have in the game, so... I will have to pick that back up at some point. But yeah, we've come here to arrest Ta Talos... Rucker, I think his name is? I can't remember exactly what his name is. Talos Rucker, I think his name is. Um, yeah, but before we do that, let's go ahead and talk to this woman. Now what? What other lies have you come to tell me? I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm here to see Soko and he's expecting me. Which one? My husband, Dushan, or his foolish brother, Tibor? I guess it doesn't matter which one. The police took them both to the Narrows to torture them for information they do not have. Okay, yeah, so it's always good to have the KC, uh, the Social Enhancement Augmentation. So as you saw, the last alignment analysis was uh, Omega for her. So we're going to go ahead and do Sympathize. It's been a rough day, especially here. I can see that. But maybe I can help. What happened? It's like you care. My husband is gone. Tibor said he had a way of getting us out of Gollum City. A contact with... Wait. Who are you? I'm the contact. Then maybe there is a chance. There's always a chance. I'm sorry. Normally they only take ARC members. Tibor is ARC. He has been taken before. But now, after the bombing, they come for Tibor. Dushan, he asks why, and then... They take my Dushan. He has done nothing. Nothing. Do you know where they were taken? I told you already. The Narrows. Instead of asking stupid questions, why don't you do something? Hey, I can see you're upset. And you're right to be. But if you have information that can help me get you and your family out of here, please tell me. It's not too late. I'm sorry. It has been very difficult. Tibor has been arrested before. He thinks Ark will keep him safe. The last time he was rescued by someone coming in through the ceiling of his cell, there are many places in Golem City that are unfinished. Maybe that can help. I think it can. Thank you. Adela. Adam. Okay, cool. Anything of importance in here apart from a fire extinguisher? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's have a little look. Yeah, not a great deal of stuff in here, actually. Pretty boring room. Chicane, we got a problem. Our contact's been swept up by the police. <laughs> I heard about cops in Gollum, Jensen. Your Interpol ID won't get you any kindness with them. That's all right. I didn't bring it with me. They're holding him in a place called the Narrows. I'll contact you after I find him. 
Okay, yeah, so this is a stealth segment. Um, it's not very long. Um, so there is like a few ways that you can handle this, but more commonly the way that I like to handle it is going invisible and going through this uh, next section that I'm about to show you. Uh, these crates are right here in the way of a new path that we can take. Um, that's often the case. If you look around and you find some boxes, there's probably going to be something behind them. So I can definitely suggest doing that. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn invisible. Also, the grid doesn't detect your invisibility either, so double handiness. Hey, brother, watch it. The cops are everywhere today. I noticed that. Are you Tibor? Yes, you're late, Interpol. I know. I spoke to your sister-in-law. She told me what happened. Adela, is she all right? It seems like she can take care of herself. Yes, she can. You know, you know I can't help you. It's too dangerous now. Okay, well, let's dive into that. Must be something we can do. Maybe I can talk to the cops, get them to release you. They won't talk to you. They, they're arresting everyone. I don't think they'll arrest me. I can take care of it. No, no, please. That will just make it worse. They know who I am. They, they went after my family. Interpol has promised to get you and your family out of here to safety. Safety? There is no safety. Only tyrants who prey on the weak and the innocent. All right, Tibor, listen. I understand why you can't come with me, but I still need to get to Rucker, or what happened to you and your family today will happen to others. I'll smooth it over with Interpol. Is there any other way you can help me? There's a man, a smuggler, Louis Galois. He imports items for Talos, Neuropocene, whiskey. He could get you in, but you'd have to do him a favor. He likes favors. That's something. Any other ideas? My keycard to get to Ark territory is gone. One of the cops took it. Probably still has it on him. Thanks, I'll look into it. Please. I know you don't owe me anything, but if you see my brother Dushan, help him. If anything happens to him, Adela will kill me. Of that, I have no doubt. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so after talking to him, we can just go ahead and come around here. Hopefully without getting shot. <laughs> that was really, really, really close. Um, is he going to come around here? Or is he just going to stay there for a minute? Nothing. Whew, okay, we can breathe again. I bet I could make that. There we go. And we're now out of the danger zone as well. Yeah, so we need to go ahead and talk to this dude over here. I hear you are in the Utulek complex. Keeping tabs on me, Botcavelli? It is time for that favor you owe me. There is a shopkeeper named Galwa in the Cedri Market. I want you to eliminate him. I'm not in the assassination game. How you take care of this problem is your business. But I expect you to keep your word. Which we don't. Uh, we're doing that now. Alright, Ota. And Dushan. Like, the reason I'm standing here, this police officer actually has the key card. And he's on a set path to go around the back okay. where no one can Check see him. him. So if we if follow him, you. we can knock him out and we can take that key card. And it will just save us, you know, some extra trouble later on. So I'm just going to, like, pretend that I'm a normal person. Walking around with the shades on and trench coat and everything. And we're just going to follow him around the back area there. I think he's going to take that route. And then we'll go ahead and do uh, that favour for Otar. Yeah. I wouldn't want to knock that guy out now because there's so many people around here including like the police and that. So he just comes around here which is like really random because there's nothing around here at all. So we can just go ahead and go, hi. Yep, I'll take that keycard now. There you go. See that? She came. Tell Miller the mission's back on track. I've got an elevator pass key that'll get me into Ark territory. Copy that. I'll do a flyby up ahead, get you the lay of the land. Hit me up when you're through. 
just saves us a little bit of time. Uh, now then, that favour that I was meant to do for Oto, uh, really and truthfully, should stay true to my word, because that could become bad later on. I'm trying to think about how I get to him because it's just taken it off of the uh, off of the screen there. <laughs> okay. I believe it actually it was up the staircase here. Let me go ahead and check that real quick. Because if I can uh, if I can talk to him and do that at the same time, that'll be a bit of a win-win. Now he's around here somewhere. In fact he might be in there. I know. Ah there you are. This is a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting any customers today, given the unpleasantness outside. Are you Louis Galois? I am. If this is a referral, may I ask which of my customers was impressed enough to recommend me? Tibor Sokol. Ah, poor Tibor. But how may I be of service? We're going to just uh, cut to the chase, because we've got another way of getting into the Ark. How about the uh, Diwali family? Let's talk about the Diwali crime family. Who are they? They're the people running organized crime in Prague. Their second in command is a man named Otar Botkavelli. Heard of him? No. I'm sorry, I haven't. Well, that's too bad. I was hoping you could tell me why he wants me to kill you. Shit! He wants me dead?! Duvrak, son of a bitch. Sounds like you're starting to remember him now. Yeah, yeah, Otar. He just slipped my mind for a moment. That's not the only thing slipping. Fine, smart guy. I work for Otar's boss, the head of the Dvalik family, Radic Nikolazi. I spy on Otar's activities for Radic. Shit. I just realized, the other Pachyan, Constantine, he died in the train station bombing! You're thinking Otar wants to get the second spy, you, out of the way, and make a move against Radich. I'm sure he'd love it. Those two have had their own private Cold War going on for years. But still, getting rid of me and Constantine wouldn't be enough. Otar needs to gather more support in Prague and in Georgia. But he could do it. The only thing keeping him from consolidating his power is... Well, me? But you're not really planning to kill me, are you? No, we'll try and uh, get away without doing that. No, I draw the line at assassination for would-be mob bosses. Thank you. Thank you. What can I do to repay you? Name it. Anything. Vaclav Kohler. What's his connection to Radich? Wait, I can't tell you that! Radic would kill me! You said anything. Unless you'd prefer the alternative. Damn it. Okay. Radic, Kohler, and I have a trilateral arrangement. Radic has an augmented leg. You just became the fifth living person to know that. So, I get Radic his neuropathy, and Kohler maintains his leg. In return, Radic looks out for us. He's not doing a great job of that. You're lucky Otar sent me instead of somebody else. He won't stop with you either. I'd better get out of the country until this blows over. And I'll guess I'll have to retire the Louis Galois persona. Oh well, I had fun playing him. Next time, try it with a French accent. Might be more credible. One more thing. Tibor said you can get me into Ark territory without worrying about any guards. He's right. I'll unlock the security door at the back of this room. Beyond that, there's a ladder that'll take you where you want to go. All right, thanks. Is there any other way I can be of service? Perhaps you'd like to make a purchase and contribute to the Louis Galois escape fund. Hmm. I don't know about buying anything, but uh, I guess I'll shop here. It's another reason why I didn't kill the guy. Um, we get a ton of XP for doing this, we can sell him a bunch of items, and he's also another way of getting into Ark. Hence, opening up the back door, so there's a lot of win-wins by not killing him. Let's see what you've got for sale. Of course. Please, take a look. Alright, I've got so much stuff in my inventory that I actually want to get rid of it anyway. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just make a ton of money. So sniper rifle for 2100, sure, why not? And the thing is, the reason I'm selling these uh, guns, I'm not going for the uh, the hard killing approach, so it's not going to matter. Keep my stun gun ammo and all my necessities and stuff. Uh, don't normally use those ones or that one. I'll go ahead and sell all the booze. Not planning on having a party just yet. We'll party when the game is over. Neuropazine, oh, that's quite good, really. Um, debating whether to sell it. Uh, I mean, we can pick up some more later on anyway. I'll get rid of it for now. Uh, concussion grenade, yeah, I, I probably will get rid of the gas grenades actually. And the mine templates can go. I'll get rid of the stealth softwares. There you go, that's all I'm really bothered about. So, yeah. I don't actually need that much. <laughs> but now I've got 11,000 credits, so I can actually go ahead and buy a Praxis kit. Uh, he might have a Praxis kit. No, actually he doesn't. Scratch that. I'll save it for when I get back then. But there you go, a ton of money and a ton of inventory space back. Cool. Credits are precious, I understand. You'll have to find another way out. I'll be on my way for now. As you wish. But I hope to see you again. He'll be fine. This is Deus Ex. There's always another way. Machiavelli, it's Jensen. Your problem in the Udalek complex has been taken care of. Good. I look forward to hearing the details. But that will have to wait, because I have other urgent matters keeping me busy at the moment. I will call you back shortly. Jensen, I'm getting lonely up here. Got an update for me. Yeah. I discovered that favors are like currency in Gollum City. We're back on track. I'm heading for an area called the Throat now. Should take me straight into our territory. Good. I'll update Miller and do a flyby up ahead. Get you the lay of the land. Copy that. Cool. This Can't believe I just literally found some more neuropazine. <laughs> How random is that? Now we're going to be meeting this guy. This is a very interesting character in my opinion, and there's going to be more to this guy that meets the eye later on. Victor, we got one. Patrolling the market, just like you said it would be. I got it, brothers. Now, let's see what we've got here. These little guys can be tricky. Every once in a while, one of them will go off, even if you... Well, that was mean. Should have tried cutting the blue wire. If only life was that simple. You are lost, brother. It looks like you might have taken the wrong turn. You must be the welcoming committee. No. I am Marchenko. And Marchenko, he is more of a guardian. Like the hound at the gates of hell. Yes. I'm not real big on the classics. <laughs> that is a pity. What a man reads can tell you more about him than his face. Can I give you a little friendly advice? Um, sure. Sure. Go back. Go home. There is nothing for someone like you here. How do you figure that? You don't know me. I know this place up ahead. We call it the Thrones. And sometimes those get cut, yes? when outsiders come wandering in where they should not. I'll take my chances. I just want to see where Ark hides out. We are not hiding from anyone. Tell that to the cops down below. Do not listen to police and all their bullshit about Ark. Those Shlupotia pricks are everywhere, breaking heads, making their mess, and we have to deal with it. Better watch yourself. They won't go easy on you either. Leash or no leash. Mm, okay, sure, whatever you say. I'm not looking to get in the middle of that. Oh, you think you will be a good little wrench and come through untouched, yes? He has eyes, but he cannot see. It's not my fight. It will be. One day soon. 
But for you, I think understanding will come too late. And then, no amount of fleshy hardware is going to keep you alive. You will end up spare parts in some harvester yard, meat on a butcher block. But not you. You're gonna go down swinging. Take them all with you. We won't be the ones who fall, brother. What you're talking about, that's terrorism. Easy. I thought we were just two men having a conversation, discussing the issues of the day. But your friend Rucker, I see him on the net. He feel the same way you do? Ah, yes. Talos. He is a good man. Strong, intelligent, principled. You could learn a lot from him. Guy's like a walking tank, isn't he? I admit he's got a way about him. He talks and people listen. But is that enough? He is no politician, if that is what you mean. Rucker gave up an easy life for our cause. He lives the struggle, just like the rest of us. I respect anyone with principles. But in my experience, that doesn't get you much when the storm comes down. Well, as much as a political debate stimulates me, you are pushing my patience, and I have work to do. You have had your warning. Get out of here, while you still can. If that was your recruitment speech, I gotta tell you, it sucked. The way I see it, after the bombing, tide's turning against you. Ark has made itself public enemy number one. <laughs> Yes, it may seem that way. For now. Until then. Sergei! Be careful in there, Shiny. Huh? Nasty rumors of a wrench getting scratches on his finish will scare the tourists away. Ah. Yes. We'll be seeing you. Why don't he just picks up that robot and throws it over his shoulder okay. like that? Patch me through to That's crazy. Give him a message. Patch you through. What am I, your fucking secretary now? Jensen, I thought you were back on track. I am. But I need you to run a name through I like. Victor Marchenko. Got a feeling about this guy. Fine. But remember, you're there for Rucker. If he's behind these attacks, everyone else will fall in line. Okay, right. Yeah, we're going after Rucker now. And um, you can actually get a trophy for um, winning in the conversation against him. There are plenty of guides on YouTube for that. I'll try and win the conversation as well. There's a uh, specific amount of replies you have to come back with in order to succeed. That's why I uh, recommend the social enhancer augmentation. Just so you're far less likely to fail. Anything back here? I don't think so. I am trying to check everything in this room though because there are so many things in this one area. A lot of goodies that we can take home with us. Plenty of computers, ain't there? Wow. So many monitors all around the room. Oh, hang on a sec, what's this? Okay. No, won't go that way. Get rid of this. Ah, nice. There we go. There's them goodies I was thinking about. Okay, cool. Now then, um, be careful here, because that is an explosive, and the moment that detects someone, it's going to go off. I'm trying to remember what's in there, actually. I might be able to jump over that. Probably can. Ah, oh, but we can't get in there. It's like legit, completely blocked off. Never mind. That's just one way of handling that. You don't have to do it like that, but you can if you want. Uh, break here, I'm going to leave that. Okay, yeah, been a pretty productive day. I think we can carry on going now. Okay, yeah, need to get into arc now. So we can go ahead and have this conversation with Rucker. There is a ton of um, stealth 
before we actually make it to Rucker. So now is probably a good time to end the episode, guys. Um, so we're going to be taking this lift and we're going to be going ahead and doing that next. So I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Alright guys, so thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Take care.